Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Beak here. I want to talk about some of the sneak peeks today because, you know, I normally don't, but these are pretty exciting. I really like some of these. So we're going to talk about them right now, but I'm also going to put on some replays so you guys don't get too bored. So let's just throw on what we got in the war here. We'll go to number one and replay it. Okay. So guys, some of the first sneak peeks, of course, are some of the least exciting. The first one that was mentioned was level five dragons. And really, that's not going to change much for any of us. I mean, think about dragons already. We've got level 4 dragons. They're pretty strong technically, but their adversary, the maxed air defense, makes them totally worthless. These maxed air defenses, they just wreck. They do so much damage. And even if you make another level on the dragon, even if you add 500, 600 hit points or whatever to it, it's not going to make it that much of a difference. They're still going to get destroyed by maxed air defenses and every other defense around the base. I mean, dragons are slow. They, you know... It's a whole story, but unless something really changes with air attacks, like a new spell that helps them, um, I really don't see another level of the dragon helping, but maybe it could. We'll see. We'll see. What else, guys? Um, some of the other coolest things that I saw were the ones that weren't really announced on the forums yet. So in Galadon's video, you guys may have seen Galadon's newest video. If you haven't, go check it out. He always does this, where he like throws uh, a sneak peek down. But there's all this like hidden stuff in it that he says he didn't realize was there, but he definitely saw it. So the when the person's raiding in the video, in Galadon's video, they lightning an air defense, and that lightning, those lightning bolts, they hit a gold storage nearby, and you clearly see this shield pop up. This shield comes and protects the gold storage from the lightning. So clearly we have a long awaited, you know, we've been we've been wanting this forever. A, a resource lightning protection device <laughs> so lightning cannot take your resources this is a long-awaited feature that we've been asking for since the beginning of dark elixir i mean since dark elixir came out people have been lighting it and nobody really likes having that happen to them uh some people put up with it i put up with it but really for the lower level people i want you guys to have a little bit of safety when you log off, you know. If somebody's going to raid you, fine. If somebody's going to raid you and take your Dark Elixir, that's great. But if they lightning it, nah, I don't like that. So, what else? Um, we had, uh, I got a list over here. Another Air Sweeper. Guys, what is going on? What? Another Air Sweeper. So, um, I don't know even where to begin. But at the beginning of, well, I guess two updates ago. At that point, Go Lava Loon was three-starring bases pretty easily whether you were a tunnel 9 or a tunnel 10 that was pretty much the go-to attack and it was pretty straightforward to do okay air sweeper came out made it a little harder you now had to go you had to start at a certain point in the base so you could go behind the air sweeper or you had to take out the air sweeper with your golem archer queen combo okay but now if we have two air sweepers what are we going to do? Somebody's going to be able to put opposing directions on those air sweepers. So they're going, every direction is basically going to be covered by an air sweeper. And I'm not sure how we're going to get around that. Maybe go to a different combo. Okay, we're going to have to let go of air troops for a while and use hog riders. I, I don't know. I love using hog riders, but at tunnel 10, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough to go against um, infernos, especially if they're on multi with hog riders. Tunnel 9, yeah. I'll definitely continue using hogs because that's what I prefer anyway. But, you know, we'll see, guys. I think um, adding another air sweeper is a little too far. I'm really surprised that they're going to choose to do that. But we'll see what comes out to combat that. Because Clash notoriously doesn't let defense get too strong. And it seems like they're they're boosting the defense here. So what are they going to do to add to the offense? Well... Another unseen, th un unmentioned thing in Galadon's video was another spell factory. It looked like another spell factory. Maybe this is what is going to take offense in the other direction. Offense, you know, if, if you all of a sudden have several more spells or at least one more spell or some new spell that we don't know about yet, that could make offense so much more powerful and it could justify all these new defenses like the other air sweeper so i don't know guys in the bottom uh well there's uh gonna be a, a troop selection screen that they added i'll show you guys a picture of that and that's where we saw basically evidence of the second uh second spell factory you guys probably saw it in galadon's video so 
in that sp second spell factory, what could there be? I don't know. I mean, at the bottom of the, the base, it looks like there's a different looking spell factory. It looks more like a Town Hall 10 theme. It's red. Uh, it's got some red on it. And I don't know. Could it be Dark Elixir spells? I would welcome that. I know a lot of lower level people don't really want Dark Elixir spells. You guys need to save your Dark Elixir, and I get that. But for high level trophy pushers that have maxed heroes, Dark Elixir spells would be awesome. So we'll see. We'll see what that uh, other spell factory is. If it just affects high level people or if it affects everybody, yet to be seen. So I think that's pretty cool, guys. Uh, what else do we have? Um, the new training button, yeah, we talked about that. Another spell factory. Um, the. Uh, did I talk about this? The, the icons of the troops are going to look a little better. I mean, I noticed that right away when I watched any of the sneak peek videos. The background of the troops on their icons is going to look better. And I never even really noticed, but on the ones we have now, they're just black. They're kind of boring. Um, you know, they're just solid, solid color, black. So if there's a nice background, it's going to give a little bit of depth. It looks like it's just going to be blue, kind of. I don't know. It looks a little better, though. So, you know, that's good. And uh, the overall damage button in the bottom uh, counter in the bottom right looks like it's going to change. Not a big deal. Looks like it's just going to be a little smaller and more streamlined. Whatever. You know, I, I will be honest. Over the years, there's there's been so much stuff added to the screen. Originally, it was just, like, very clean. There, there wasn't much on the screen. And there's a lot on the screen now. So if they streamline that at all, good. Uh, and lastly, I noticed somebody point out in the sneak peek video that Galadon posted, in the bottom right, there is the shop. And in the shop, it says there's new items waiting to be built. So what could they be? I don't know. It said there's 12. Yeah, in this picture, it shows 12 new items. I mean, that could be just because it's a developer iPad and they have some random stuff in there. But... Maybe there's some new buildings that we're not even seeing on this. I mean, like I said earlier, I think this is all intentional. They didn't release this accidentally. They didn't accidentally show us um, all this stuff. I mean, they meant to. They, it's sort of like guerrilla marketing. They're, they're trying to build hype by sort of slipping a little bit of info to us. So they're showing these, these little hints, these little crumbs, and they're having us speculate about it. And especially, you know, having YouTubers speculate about it, it's it's marketing for them. So, you know, great job by Supercell, as always. Um, so let me know what you guys think, you know, about these few sneak peeks. Uh, I don't want to bore you for too long, but I really think the new Spell Factory, or the new whatever's happening with spells, I think that's the most interesting by far. I think all the Dragon and Air Sweeper stuff is a little crazy. Uh, and I'm a little confused about it, but <laughs> I think the spell stuff is going to be amazing. And anything else that comes, you know, I'm, I'm up for it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you're thinking about the next update in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.